Um, Augie, I, I think we're all in agreement on social. I don't think there's much to talk about it. You know, for all the criticism, they're second in the table. You know, they beat West Ham. And again, you can say, all right, well, it wasn't super impressive. Um, I thought Greenwood played really well. I thought there were positives. Let's not forget, they're taking the pitch without Pogba, without Martial, without Cavani. You know, at some point, what do you expect? So it's only right that he gets a contract extension so given he's got a year left, right? This is not the time to go and change managers. Did, would you agree with that? I mean, that's my view. Do you agree with that, Augie? Yeah, look, I mean, he's made progress. He's, he's made the team better. He's got rid of some of the high earners. He's, he's, the, the better in the table, the second in the table. So progress is there. I think we said before, it's evolution rather than revolution. I don't see any dynamism there. I, I do wonder what, if he's going to get a three-year contract, what the plan for the next three years is, where they're going to go. I don't, I don't see where... Solskjaer is taking this team. He has to find a way to play that doesn't just rely on defending and hitting teams on the counter attack. For me, they need they need three players with the same characteristics and determination as Bruno Fernandes all over the pitch. They need they need a better they need a better spirit. And the problem with Solskjaer is you know teams reflect the personality of the manager. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is what is he? I don't know. I mean, it was a player that it's was happy. It's, 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 it's not, it's not it, that. No, no, no. Listen, get, if you can get Julian, Julian Nagelsmann next season, you would, yeah. No, I look. No, no, I'm just I'm, saying that they're trying or they want to. I'm just saying, don't tell me there's not better I, managers I, right now I, for Manchester United than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I think that is I think the part of the dilemma, though, Augie, isn't it? Like, yeah. at this stage, you either say, all right, look, it's been great, he's done the job, but long term, you know, we're improving too slowly. What is coming? Right? And so we're going to aggressively pursue a different manager and say goodbye to Ole. Or if you keep him, you have to extend him, right? Do you know what, what what concerns me from a Man United point of view is that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as a player was happy to spend the vast majority of his career at Man United on the bench. He, he, he wouldn't challenge Felix Ferguson to play more often. He, would, he was happy to accept being a bit part player. He, he, he wasn't a guy that wanted to be on the pitch or pushed to be on the pitch. So that, his characteristic is not to challenge authority. It's basically to take what he's got. So does he just, is he just a good manager for the Glazers and Ed Woodard that Ole's OK, he'll make us a bit better, he won't push us, he won't criticise us, he'll, he's a club man... And it will just drift along because United are just drifting along. They're second in the table, but they haven't won a trophy for four years. Are they going to win a trophy this season? Depends on Man City, I guess, doesn't it? They're drifting along. And will they still be... Is there any sign that under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer they'll stop drifting in the next three years or will they continue to drift and bobble along? That is, that is for me, the concern. He's not a dynamic manager that will drag this team to the title. I just don't see it. He would rather play a walk-on part in the war than a lead role in the cage. Yeah, my Pink Floyd no, reference. Pink Floyd reference. But he lost four semi-finals in a row. He, they, if they're out of the Champions League, it's because he messed up that game against PSG when they were by far the better team. He left Fred on the pitch. Fred got sent off, which we all knew was coming if he was staying on the pitch. And right. they lost the game that but eventually once... caused them the qualification. I'm just saying, OK, yeah, he's a nice guy. He's a United legend or whatever. He knows the club so well. Everything you I, want. There is a little progress. I give you that. The away form is fantastic. They do some good things at time. They won the derby against City last weekend or eight, eight days ago, nine days ago. I'm just, I'm just not sure how much he shows your ambition. And then we go back to what Mark just said, and maybe the ambition is that. That's the ambition. Maybe that is the ambition because what? Look, look. I don't. I think it can be upgraded. There are better managers out there. Definitely. There's better young managers out there. But once you've made this decision, you have to extend them, right? Once you've decided. The conditions aren't right to go for a Nagelsmann or somebody else we might like. We're not ready to make, to take this step yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah of course. You then keep him. You, you stick you with him. him. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.